Hi everyone, welcome to Digital 100. I'm your host Patrick Wagner and this is episode number 11. Today actually I'm switching things up a little bit because yesterday's episode was about why you need a Chromebook and why everyone needs a Chromebook. And it was a quick kind of how to, what you need, the benefits, that kind of thing, you know. But didn't think much of it, trying to be helpful and a buddy of mine calls me out on social media and says, Hey, I can't do this. This doesn't seem as easy as you made it out to be. I want this free Chromebook with my current computer or with an old computer. So I had to actually go and and try the process again, which I haven't done for probably nine months or a year ago was the last time that I did it. And I encountered the same kind of problems. I realized, wow, it wasn't actually that easy to do um, because things have changed. You know, the websites that some people link to in their videos have changed. The companies have provided certain URLs for for downloads of images of these uh, Chromium iOS software have changed. So it's not that easy to get or to see where to get everything. So I went through the process and I'm going to share it with you guys now. So this is all the right links. They worked and I'm going to show you step by step how to do it yourself. So let's get started. First, this is yesterday's link. So I started by just going in and typing in Chromium to USB install. And there's lots of information, but like I said, it was a lot harder than I expected. So there's two routes you can go about doing here. Okay, so there's two real routes. You can actually install this as an OS that will launch on your computer's hard drive, or you can install it on a USB and then just simply select your boot selector to boot from that USB and everything runs from there. I personally prefer the USB route. I don't like to mess around with my machine and have too many partitions or too many loading uh, OS options at that point because I do some mining on some of these computers, but it depends on what you're looking for. So let's get started with one of the most popular options, which is loading it on your own computer. Um, And that's where that neverware.com, this is the company that provides the free version for home users. So you can go here, install their program. It installs on a USB, but this is the option that installs onto a computer. So this is not a run from your USB version of this Chromium OS. It's the installer that you need to then install it on any computer. So this is a little bit different. This is if you're installing it on the computer itself, but it works great, extremely user-friendly and a great option. Uh, for folks who want to install right to their hard drive. Now for folks that don't want to, like myself, you actually have to get an image of the OS. So you have to look at these Chromium OS builds and just so you see when they're marked Carmos, they're for an ARM, an ARM processor. If they're CAM64 OS, they're for a 64 processor and so on. So in this case, I'm looking for an OS, a 64 OS processor. Now I tried this one and I loaded it and it didn't work for me. So this is possible. Uh, Just go to the next one down, or if you really want to be safe, go to the one of the earlier ones and try that version first. So you download this. This is a big download. It's about 490 megabytes. So this is the one that takes time. Next, you download the 7-zip, so 7-zip.org slash download.html. And this is the unzipper for this image file. And it's helped save and compress. And that's why a lot of large files are, are used in this and average folks don't know about that. Next is go to R-U-F-S sorry, R-U-F-U-S dot A-K-E-O dot I-E. And this is a Rufus software. You download this and it lets you create bootable USB drives easily. Very simple software, works really well. So once you've downloaded the ISO, downloaded Rufus here, downloaded your zip unzipping software, then you're good to go. So we're gonna try to see what we have here. And this is kind of like what your, you know, drive should look like or your folder should look like. So we're gonna launch Rufus. There it is. 
it's going to give you a chance to pick the USB drive that you have your system uh, plugged into. Then you're going to select the folder. So, like I said, I originally downloaded the early one. It didn't work for me. I went for a later version. And pretty much that's it. Click start. And this will write the USB. I'm going to forward through the rest of this and come back in a second. Great, now it looks like we're done. So this will pop up as unrecognized because it is now a bootloading USB. There we go. Now you have your Chromebook on a USB. Now I'm going to give it a try and show you guys how it looks when it boots up on my system over here. Let's take a look. Now you plug in your USB into your computer, turn it on. In my case, I have to press F11 to change the boot menu. There you go, press F11, switch it to the USB. And now we're booting from the USB. There we go, and there's Chromium. Give it a second. Let it load up. Checks for a network. In this case, I've loaded up my wireless network. It would ask you for your password. Once it's logged in there, you can log in. Or, in my case, I just use the Browse as Guest. So I don't log in with anything. And we're good to go. Now you're surfing the net safely. No, no login information, similar to incognito mode. And then if you're doing this through a VPN, you're even safer. And that's it. Now you've got your own Chromebook with any of your old devices or existing computers. Well, that worked great. So now you see with the proper files, there's really only three of them. You need to download the seven zip unzipper you need to download the chromium iso which is the actual file that gets put onto the usb you download rufus which actually takes that iso and applies it to the usb and then you're pretty much good to go you need to select your bootloader and make sure you're loading from your usb and you're good to go with your chromium os anywhere so i usually carry with me these types of USBs so that I can plug those into the computers I use rather than using the uh, computer or the OS that's been set up on that computer just for uh, some additional security. So give it a try. If you have any question, comment below, subscribe to the channel. Thanks very much, guys. Have a great day.